for dinner tonight. It's Friday night. Yay, Friday. It's Friday night fish fry at the Pretend Pub. We've got fishless fish and chips. We've got a crabless crab cake. Instead of coleslaw, I've got this sweet kale salad. This is a spicy pineapple seltzer, Bud Light seltzer, Michelob Ultra, Michelob Ultra seltzer. And I just put a little bit of cranberry juice in it to make it look pretty. So it's pretty pink pineapple, pretty pink pineapple seltzer at the Pretend Pub. Happy Friday, Friday. For dinner tonight on Saturday night, we are having Malibu, knockoff Sizzler Malibu chicken. So this is just a Morningstar chicken patty with some tofurkey ham, hamless ham, and some chow cheese. The cheese didn't quite melt as good as I wanted it to, and then I just made a sauce of Dijon mustard and mayonnaise to go on top, because that's the way Sizzler does it. And we have long grain and wild rice, steamed zucchini, and leftover garlic hot dog buns from a few nights ago. And I'm just drinking water tonight, so happy Saturday. For dinner tonight on Sunday night, we're having Big Mac Attack Sloppy Joes. So, so these are two un-all-beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions on a non-sesame seed bun. Wow. And steamed zucchini and tater tots and heart-healthy red wine tonight. So happy super summer sweet, almost summer sweet Sunday. For dinner tonight, on Monday night, we're having Swiss steak. These are the Beyond Beefless patties that I saute up in a pan with onions and celery and tomato sauce and canned tomatoes. They make a really good rich tomatoey gravy. Also some garlic mashed potatoes, green beans, crescent roll, and heart healthy red wine. I don't know why it's halfway gone, but I'm going to need it filled up. Thank you. So happy Monday. Hi, everybody. Mama, what are we having for supper tonight? Oh, we got a good supper. We got pimento cheese sandwich, a little green salad, cucumber and tomato, fresh tomato, lettuce, and guess what? We got a watermelon for dessert. <laughs> Woo. Ooh, that's the best dessert of all, right? Yes. That's our favorite. That's a good supper. Yes, it's a real good supper. So yes, here's mine, yes, fresh yes. watermelon cold. Well, it's not super cold, but it's cool. Pimento cheese sandwich, a salad with beets, tomato and cucumber, and some good fresh lettuce that we just got. So it's going to be good, huh, Mama? Yeah. Yeah. We got beets on our salad also. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Our favorite. Yeah, we do like beets on our salad. So you got water to drink, Mama? I got to get me some water. So, yep. yeah. I've got water here in my mashed up bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Water's still good. <laughs> yep. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Say bye, Mama. Goodbye. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, for dinner tonight we're going to be making chicken scampi. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to use. I have some olive oil in my pan that I'm going to heat up. I'm going to be using some of these uh, chicken strips. I'm not using the teriyaki sauce. I'm going to season the chicken with lemon pepper, Greek seasoning, a little tiny bit of crushed red pepper and some onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to use butter, Parmesan cheese, white rice, and white wine, and I will show you. Let's get cooking. I'm going to be using this garlic, too. I love this garlic in the jar because I don't have to do anything but just scoop a bunch of spoonfuls in it. So this is going to saute it. I'm going to saute this up and season it up, and I'll show it to you. I like to use this. It just gives it a good flavor. 
little bit of lemon pepper, not much, a little bit of onion powder, Now you could use real chicken, but this is a meatless meal and I really love these chicken strips. So when they start start softening up, I like to cut them in half. It, it just seems to make them go further. But if you use real chicken, just saute it up in a pan with some olive oil. It only takes about 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes to saute this up. Now I'm going to take it off the heat and add the butter to the skillet. What I meant to say was we're going to remove the chicken from the skillet and now we're going to add butter, garlic, and wine. And you see it's golden brown and there's bits of stuff there. They're going to make great flavor. I added a couple of heaping teaspoonfuls of garlic and the half a stick of butter. And now I'm going to add about a cup of the white wine. And that's going to work to get those bits off the bottom of the pan and just make my house smell really fantastic. That looks and smells so good. So now I'm going to add a cup and a half of white rice. I did reserve some of the liquid because it's a good garlic, buttery, white wine, delicious lemon pepper flavoring. So I'm going to reserve some because I'm going to put that on at the end. Now I'm going to add a cup and a half of rice. I'm going to saute that around and let that get a little bit golden. And then I'm going to add three cups of water and reduce the heat and put on the lid and let it cook for about 30 to 35 minutes. Also, we'll be having steamed asparagus to go with it. I've made this before. I love this. It's so good. I will link um, the video that I got this idea from down below. It's from Kristen Stepp. Of course, she does a much better video than I do. But it is delicious, and we love it. So I will show it to you when it gets done. All right, it's been about 30 minutes. The rice is nice and fluffy. We're going to add the chicken back. But before we add that, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese. We're going to mix that all up. And we're going to add the liquid back in to give it some good flavor. And we're going to put the chicken back on and stir it up and serve it up. I have these chives that I grew on the windowsill. I didn't grow them, my daughter grew them on the windowsill. So we're gonna put those on top with some parsley to make it look beautiful and serve it up with our asparagus and leftover crescent rolls. Thank you so much for watching. And here it is all on the plate. The yummy, lovely, Smells so good, chicken scampi, chickenless chicken scampi, steamed asparagus, leftover and crescent rolls from a couple of nights ago, and we didn't have enough of the white wine, so we're just going to have it with the heart-healthy red wine. So, happy Wednesday!